Hi guys, I'm going to show you a tutorial how to do the unicorn nails so you can see there are some shiny nails with some freehand painted unicorn, some horn and I will show you how to do that. Okay, so I have left my thumb to do this demo for you. All what I have to do is dehydrate my nail and then trim the form so it fits really good. So I've got some scissors here, cut the form. Then pinch with in between my fingers. And put it underneath of the nail. This is going to be a nice long stiletto nail to match the others. So I do prime my nail and then I use a wonderful stuff as my favorite thing, Universal Air Bond. It's so great because you don't have to cure it in a lamp. Uh, so that saves you lots of lots of time. Apply it on the natural nail. And then using a Neil Perfect Crystal Gel, I'm going to do the skeleton of the nail. So I pick up a tiny bit of my brush and first layer goes on the natural nail, nice and thin like a nail polish. Nice and thin. Then I pick up a bigger amount of the product. And I'm building up a skeleton of my nail. I love this gel for a few reasons. The main one is that it cures in 30 seconds. And then the other reason that is so easy to apply. It takes like a few seconds only to build up all the nail. So that's my skeleton done. I'm going to cure it. And because this gel cures in 30 seconds, I'm going to do the flash cure and then I'm going to pinch my nail. The flash cure should be half of the time the fuel cure, so that's 15 seconds only. And then using uh, pinching clamps, I'm going to um, pinch my nail. Don't use the metal ones because the metal pinching clamps are not going to get the light through it and uh, the nails uh, might be not cured in some places. Uh, I would recommend definitely using the clear ones, okay? You can get them from my website as well. Um, you've got the details just in here. So I take the pinching clamp and apply on my nail to get a nice and slim look, okay? So once I put the pinching clamp, I can finish the curing process. And then I need to build up a structure on my nail. To do that, I'm going to use the Sculpting Soft Pink Gel. So that's my nail cured. And now the Soft Pink Gel, I pick up a scalp and again I'm applying like nice and thin especially around the cuticle area, you want this product to be nicely blended in. So nice and thin, like a nail polish. This way we've got the product distributed pretty nice and um, even, especially at the places we want the product to be thin. And then I'm picking up another scalp and I need to build up my structure, my apex. 
I will turn the hand this way for you. You can see that the nail is pretty flat, flat so we need to build up the strength. So my apex is going to be placed one third from the cuticle and then I'm working the product one side, other side, one side, other side, one side, other side, one side, other side and I carry on. So you can see that I have created those thickness on the side. Now I'm going to cure it and because this is a builder gel we need to cure it for um, three minutes. If I want to do an extra pinch I would cure half of the time and then a pinch for the horn effect we're going to use the paint on French gel not a builder gel because uh, otherwise this nail will look just far too heavy and we don't want this kind of look so my nail is curing I also will be using this um, brush, it's amazing for the, the tile at work, it's a micro styler number 40 and that's the thinnest brush in the market, like I do really love it, especially with the gels when you need this precision. Okay, so that's my half cured on and I can apply the pinching clamp again and do other half cure. So once I'm curing, you can look what kind of nails we're going to create. So I'm still needing a 60 seconds cure. So the horn is nice and thin, but it has those 3D structure. I love how they shine. I'm going to file this nail and I've got a great drill. It's a portable one. K38. So nice and light. Without of noises. And the bit is awesome as well because it doesn't cut your skin. I will actually demonstrate it as well. But that's my nail cure. I can pull the form. Ah, how nice and long it is. Okay. I'm removing the sticky layer. Do the first shape. To smooth out the sides. And I like using the straight file. Um, especially for my shape. Okay, so that's the sides slightly tidy up. And now I can remove the bulk of the product with the drill. So it's absolutely fantastic, like even if you file on top of your skin, it's not going to hurt you. <laughs>
okay once i'm happy with it i can remove the dust okay once i'm uh, happy with the shape um, i'm just going to smooth it out with the buffer make sure especially this area is nicely blended in Smooth it out all over. Okay, and once I'm happy with it, I'm going to apply the paint on French gel on all of the nail. Clean the dust first. Clean the nail nice. And now take a paint on French gel, my gel brush, and apply it on the nail. Okay, so once the product is on, I can cure it. And then once it's cured, we can apply the paint on gel to build up the structure. And, and really, do use better the paint on gels than the sculpting builder gels because they are just basically too thick and then the snail looks too heavy. You don't want the horn to look too heavy. It has to be a nice and, um, and having those 3D structure, but with out of the bulk, um, of the product so like in a horn like um, they has to go like a bit twisted so it has to be thicker and then going to the finish and also in those curve so I'm taking the product on and the first structure is the biggest one and then it curves a bit Okay, I can flash cure it. Just so the product doesn't run and then go and do another one. So I'm leaving a small gap in between. Flash cure it again. And the next row.
so you can see it has the structure but it's not over too thick just to freeze the product and then going for the next one Especially on the ends, you want them much thinner and much smoother. Just the tiny ones. Okay, so it has those horn structure. Now I have to cure it. And then I'm going to apply glitter powder to get those nice effect. And I'm going to use my fingers to do so. So I'm I will be cleaning my fingers to make sure there is no sticky layer because I want to the product to stick into the nail, not to my fingers. And then I will be applying the top coat. It is pretty important how you apply the top coat as well because if you do it the wrong way, you lose all the three D look. And then maybe that's the reason why some people put so much product on it. Um, so I will show you how to apply the top coat to keep this effect. So I'm dipping in the powder in my fingers. You can see how nice and shiny it is. And now I'm going to apply it on my horn. So I'm dab it in first to make sure I'm covering all the surface. How nice is that? And then I'm just rubbing it in with my finger, rubbed in. So you can see it how nice the effect is. Then I have to clean the excess of the glitter powder. And then apply the top coat. Okay, so I show you what is important when applying the top coat as well. That you basically follow those lines. So you file all the shape you have created. Okay, you don't apply top coat this way, you just apply the top coat the same way you have created the horn 3D look. Make sure you remove the top coat which is stuck in between those um, deeper parts because otherwise you lose those 3D effect. Okay, so I'm going to cure it now. And then using the UV cleanser, I'm going to remove the sticky layer. Uh, if it will be a nail done on the client, you can apply two top coats, um, two, two coats of the top coat just to get a uh, better lasting results. Um, you can also, um, yeah, just to get the nice lasting results. There we are. So I'm removing the sticky layer. I'm going just touch up this nail in the corner here. Clean my hands and show you the final results. You can also get all the products I have used in this video on my website, which is www.nealperfect.net, and that's the finished look. I hope you have really enjoyed watching this video and you have learned something from it. Um, if you did, subscribe to my channel for more of those kind of videos. Unicorn Nails. Thanks for watching. Bye.